Hello and welcome Record. back. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. In the last episode, we started the game off. I did the first two daytime stages, and we and we got into the night ah. and we made our way to the night section. Oh. By the way, the hub world's kind of blocked off for a bit. Back. Well, in it go. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be doing the first night stage of Wind of Windmill Isle slash Apatos. Apatos is the actual country's name. And uh, I'm going to need to keep my eyes open for those medals. Yeah, I'm actually going to. Go ahead and act. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up a guide for sun medals in the actual stages, because as we said last episode, we're gonna need a crap load of them. Uh, okay, glad I got the to see. Oh, hi tails. Oh, not a video guide. Uh, it's yeah. a video guide, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I would even take like a guy with only only a screenshot of him. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the one problem I have with the nice stages. It has the same battle theme throughout the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> That's my only gripe with it. I really, I would really like it if they pulled like a Kingdom Hearts where you, where, you, where it has a different battle theme for a, for every different country. Yeah, that would be nice. It would just kind of be more a frantic version of the actual theme. Yeah, but even then it'd be better than da 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 twenty seven times in a row. Yeah. I'm either very blind, or we haven't run into any sun, sun or moon metal. Uh, no. Okay. I'm counting on you to tell me if I'm fucking up. That's not too hard, is it? I think these things are called nightmares. Yeah, yeah. The night, the dark guy enemies are like nightmares. Well, not those small little rhino things. Well, they're, well, just in general, they're called nightmares. Yes, we know what experience. Those things are called chaos orbs. They look more like diamonds. We know what experience is. They came out of Eggman's robots plenty of times already. Yeah. What the hell's that? That's a. Oh, that's, okay. just, that's a shield recall. Oh. I believe shield is our one. It's. Oh. Yay! Oh, mm, I don't. We don't need those. Well, I still need a lot of them. Uh, try breaking down that door. And we're gonna be very, very thorough. thorough these. Oh, there is the sun belt. Yep, that's that's the that's what the first one says. Yep. Uh, remember, R two is to run. I know, but this is how you normally am. Uh, there should be one to your left. Right here. Well, there's probably there's something to your left. I know that much. There we go. Sun metal. Like I said, we're gonna be wanting a lot of these. Good thing this one gives us one twelfth of them. Yeah, sun metals are very easy to. Sun metals are very very plentiful in night stages. You just gotta be careful to find them. Yeah. It's like it's like a it's like a mini it's like a combination of a standard pla standard platforming level with a collectathon level. I think Crash actually. Oh, yeah. It's very much like Crash. Ah! You're not a sun metal. <laughs> you have a moon metal with you, but that's not what we want. By this, the way, this is, this is by a... the way, when you get the circle prompt, you can use a finishing attack in order to get more points. You're gonna be wanting oh. to do that a lot if you want S ranks. Oop! I fucked up. I accidentally pressed X. <laughs> Oop! Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna want to slow down and make sure you actually hit the right button. Okay. Also, I recommend. Peach is here. Peach is here. Peach is here. <laughs> Cause there's a frickin' doorbell going off! I really wish we would be, we would be having pizza for dinner tonight, because I'm just gonna pizza 
But I had that before I got here. Oh well. Like I said, we're, there's other food in case you get hungry later. Yep, I saw a huge thing rolls up there. Because remember, get with the bread addiction right here. That was from last night in the rally stand this week. Who cares? Okay. Oh, they left a little dog piece. Dog rhinos. I call them rhinos. They look more like rhinos than dogs. Just, just, they just look like, like dogs with... Wait, they look like... Looks like... Oh, shit! Okay, that does it. Oops, wrong button. There you go. Excuse me as I fuck everything up! By the way, please run around and grab as much experience as you can because I got up. Because, oh, because they... I, I got really pissed off at Clement just blatantly ignoring experience. It's like, I'm, ah, I'm, klepto, I'm klepto about that shit, so don't thank worry. Thank you. You forget who you're talking to! You're talking, you're talking, you're talking, to, you're talking to the guy who, who literally went out of his way to go after Starbits in Mario Galaxy. Oops. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that was one part of Clement's playthrough that really pissed me off. Just grab the experience, it's useful. Oh yeah, rings refill your health. Yes, that is very, very useful. Oops. Ah! We don't need that. I ran into it by complete accident. Come on, Circle's there we go. Circle's kind of the do-everything-in-the-world game. The game, but... Ah! I wish, I, wish that it never, I wish that it didn't take control. I wish it didn't completely stop you. Yeah. Well, something's above me. That shadow was really misplaced. There we go. See, look, the shadow was right here. No, it, but the no, thing was following actual physics, where the closer to the ground you get, the more accurate the shadow gets. Eh. Because that's how it works in the real world. Okay, it just confused me when games do that. I don't blame you, but I don't blame I you don't... for thinking it's weird. Oh, there's one. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in the air or not. Uh, Sonic, you gonna let go? No, it's not in the air. Sonic, you gonna let go? Uh, it, you jump. Yeah, I'm hitting the... I was hitting the X button before! Sonic didn't move! At all! And I don't know what was going on. That's why I was asking Sonic, are you gonna move? Sonic, I know you love the... I, pole. I know you love the pole, but you gotta let go. That sounded so wrong. By the way, you get a hundred... You get a hundred rings, you get an extra life, just like in every other game. Can I open a... Nope. This looks like a tea shop. Nope, it's a hotel. Chamomile, chamomile Hotel. Hey, not drinking tea. Nice. What? The Chamomile Hotel. I love tea. Yeah. Do you not like tea? Yeah, it's... You even. Fuck you. I love tea. And if I'm not drinking soda, I'm drinking tea. It's also because I like it more than milk. Milk has this weird case thing where I just don't like it all that much unless it's chocolate. Eh, chocolate gets a little too syrupy for my taste. Don't. Either chocolate milk or, or yeah. milk that's, used been, that's been used for cereal. I love cereal milk. Hmm. Did you, what, have you ever tried it like a Yoohoo or something? What? Uh, have you ever tried like a Yoohoo? <laughs> now you're the heathen! I've never even heard of them before now. Oh, it's a very good drink. It's a very nice drink. Okay, I got four out of ten moon medals. Moon medals? Uh, some medals. Let's say. Sorry. I am really not used to collecting these things during the actual stages. I don't mind you. I'm just button mashing all these rhinos to death. Ah, I got something in my eye. That thing to have when you're fighting about a huge group of enemies.
Oh, found one by a complete fucking accident. It was right. It was right behind those stairs. Yeah, this is a bit more thorough than I would have thought, but. I did not see that pool there until it was too late. Yeah, Sonic can't swim. Still. <laughs> Semi swim in a. Uh... Collars. Yeah, That's just jumping repeatedly. Yeah. Even then, only in the. Oh. Only in 2D seconds. Granted, that game is like 90% 2D, but still. This first one will be like a small trial of it. Is that some metal still there? Nope. Oh, yep, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It, is it, it gives a silhouette. Oh. I can't really tell when it's like that. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. It'll put you in a, it'll automatically put you in balance mode. I'm just talking about getting on it. I don't want to accidentally fly, fly two feet forward and land in the water. You know, it's very out of place to see Eggman robots after playing the Wii version. I don't blame you. There's one behind that corner. I saw it! There you go. Oh, these things! <laughs> that was kind of fun. Worth it. I got hurt, but it was worth it. Just taking two of them and just smacking them together. I still hear one. Dirt! Oh, yeah, that's a couple more. Upgraded version, even. Yeah, red means powered up when it comes to dark eye enemies. Although, usually the most powerful version is a very dark blue. Violet, more like, more or less. At least for the big enemies. The little enemies, the strongest is usually red. Yeah. As for Eggman robots, it, it, they just get they think they just get stronger as the game goes on. They don't really change appearance at all. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. What's the last enemy? You can, you can smack them. You can smack two I, enemies together. I did by the way. I did that already. Uh, so until this guy runs out of health, I'm just gonna do this for just for fun. You can also throw it. I uh, have Okay. And that's all the little guy had left in him. Yep. Okay, we should have, have seven stun medals by this point of the stage. Okay, you're right. We have seven sun medals and three moon medals. Yeah, I don't really, as I keep saying, I don't give a shit about the moon medals. Well, we might as well collect them just. Anyway. Yeah, we'll obviously pick them up when we see them, it's just... Sun medals are what's most important. Yes, sun medals are more important. Holy shit! Okay, that does it. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, if you have access to it, use it. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but, it's the, but I'm pretty certain the frame rate is a lot better than this in the game. Yep. I'm not sure about the PS2 version, though, that... Although, yeah, it, it ran smoothly for what it did. Although, although the PS2 version is generally considered to be the absolute worst version on the game, just because it looks horrible. 
I'm not a graphics geek. I'm not a graphics perfectionist. Well, well, well how? Did, but well, the difference. Well, whether or not you prefer the Wii version or the 360 slash P PS3 version depends on how. De usually depends on how, on your preference for the for the gameplay. But we can. But most people can agree that the PS2 version is definitely worse than the Wii version just because of how it looks. One thing I like about the Wii version is that it is that it starts out with with a combo that you can use. This game starts out with a lot more combos that you can use. Yeah, but I like having my wear hammer from the very beginning. Uh, you know, I think the robot managed to notice you just barely. It noticed me right right after my one up jingle act, act happened. <laughs> so I can hear the music. So by me getting a life. The thing got the thing noticed me. You know, oh, just one more sum out of left. That's nice. Yeah, and it's usually the one. Yes. Oh, there's the other key. But what's behind door number two? Oh, four enemies. Then you give it credit for? Well, it, well, I was going through the entire thing, but then I remembered, oh wait, the collectibles themselves are just here. Okay. Oh! Book! Forgot books were a thing. Yeah. You know, our, you know personally, I don't really like the, the whole concept okay. art being an unlockable type thing in video games, because it just... Yeah, I like... I prefer getting music or extra levels for unlockables and not art, just because it's like... I never went... I I'd never take up here. If I wanted... Aha! Jet! If I... Come on! There's a box somewhere that you can grab and put down. Um, I didn't smash with the whole art, With the whole art book thing, I, I... Don't... The main reason why I don't really like concept art, art in video games as an unlockable is because I, if I wanted to look at that, if I wanted to look at that, I could just go, go online. To, go to DeviantArt. Well, DeviantArt or Google... Well, if I wanted to look at the concept art specifically, I could just look it up. Ah, shit! I don't really need that to be an unlockable, so I don't really care about it. I would prefer music or extra levels. Okay, just two more moon medals and one more sun medal. Is there... Is there a... a night, is there a night stage where you can... Where you need 120 moon medals before you get into it? Well, oh, not that I know of, but I mean, I never played this... I never played this version. So you're asking the wrong guy here. By the way, you see that ledge to your left there? Yeah. That's where the final sun medal is. By okay. The way, by the way, don't stand still for too long, otherwise Sonic will lose his balance. I think. I know something causes him to lose, lose his balance automatically. By the way, whenever you're grabbing ledges, I just kind of habitually just hold the... Oh! I just kind of habitually hold the circle button whenever, you, whenever I'm climbing on this kind of thing, so that way I automatically grab the edge whenever I fall. By the way, this is an example of one of those night themes that I don't really like all that much. I don't care for it either. It's nice, but not something I'd listen to over and over again. Yeah. I think my favorite night theme in the game is, uh, um, Carrot Sands. Which is Shamar. Yeah, I know. Really? I can't go up there? Uh, whew. I was about to say... I was holding circle, but still, I had my doubts. I don't blame. Well, the circle is usually whenever the circle usually only activates whenever there's a target nearby. Usually with ledges, you don't need to hold it, but have it. Yeah, I don't. You I probably don't, should develop. I don't. Yeah. Whenever you're jumping from thing to thing where you have a target appear, uh, it's also very good to have just habitually hold the circle button. Which uh, just one second, because I do have a 360 controller for things. For my uh, PC, I just don't have a 360. Uh, oh, the there's the. Oh, uh, there's a moon medal. For the three, uh, you can jump back up. You need to grab onto that enemy up there. I know. For for the 360 controller, uh, if you're playing the 360 version, um, develop a habit of holding down the B button whenever there's something you can target in, as a wear hog. Is that ah! mm. I I was I wasn't expecting that to just catapult me. Yeah. I was used to the Wii version where where I just swing where I just swing on it. Ah. 
I don't think there are any swinging enemies in this game, but there are, but there are balls you can swing up. <laughs> okay, one more moon metal left, and I hope I land myself on the ground. Woo! That was close. Um, I believe you can press the X button while you're going up in order to uh, go up quicker. You may want to try the R1 button. Uh, try. You may want to try the L1. Oh, that's right. You can only jump off if you're actually leaning towards whatever you want to jump. Oh, that was close. From. Oh. For a second there, I thought that robot was throwing something. <laughs> I want that piece of shit. Uh, the, the only time they, the only time they throw projectiles at you is, is if they, they specifically say that they can do that, like with a blaster bot or one of those electrical thingies with the nightmare enemies. That also, that really get on my nerves later on in the game. Oh, I thought I could destroy those. By the way, by the way, I just have to mention that the 360 controller is really fucking comfortable. Yeah, it is. Just don't instinctively know where the hell they need to go. Mm. Oh, I really would prefer if the left control... What the hell? Uh, that's a shield and a damage upgrade. Or temporary upgrade, anyway. With the Titan? I need it. Yeah. I also recommend going into Unleash mode. Hold on. Because the effects do stack. With Unleash Mode, you get more defense, and, although you're not protected from knockback for some reason, and more damage. Oh, this frame rate. Usually, yeah, usually, but usually when it comes to frame rate issues in this game, it doesn't come down. Slow down, it comes to jittery. Oh. Now! I was about to say, just stay down. <laughs> I was down. I would take a minute to like run around and grab the experience. So satisfying. Oh no 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 not yet not yet not yet. That and their collectibles around here. So my OCD will never forget me. I think I missed a moon medal, but oh nope that's record. I'm gonna say. At least we have all 10 sun medals, that's the important thing. Yeah. But still, it just kicks you. Yeah. I think the next stage is a daytime stage, I may be wrong. It should be? No, wait, the next the next stage is, uh, um, Savannah Citadel Night. So, okay. Okay, I think that's everything. By the way, there were two sections of this game that aren't in the Wii version really at all. Well, one of them is just a boss fight, the other was completely omitted. The one that was completely omitted from the Wii version was actually one that really doesn't need to be there anyway, so I don't really care. Got an A rank and it took me 21 minutes! <laughs> yeah. Can you check the recording window? Yep, we're good. Uh, there should be a cutscene. Okay. There should be a cutscene, so we're just gonna... Uh, what should I upgrade? Um... Strength and combat? Yeah, strength and combat for now, life later. I would get as many combos as you can, personally. Like, once it starts, once it, I was gonna say, once the bar requirement actually goes up for combat, I would, uh... Okay, now you can... Okay, now I would actually just put one into life for now, just so that way you have more of it. Uh, Put the other two into the other sections. Eh, uh, just fuck it. I'm playing in combat. Uh, since I, I was going to say put it under, into Unleashed and Shield, just so that way you have a level on those. Unleashed and Shield are kind of the least important ones, with combat, strength, and life being the more, more important. Five. Okay. And that's it. Uh, go down quick. Okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. It... Quit. Quit saves whatever you put your things into, so it's not that big a deal. Hey Tails. Sonic? What are you doing out here? That's Sonic. actually a good question. Which I don't think is ever answered. What is Tails doing here? Uh I think he was I think he was looking for clues uh for the for the missing guy. To find uh, out, uh, 
Mm. Either find the missing guy or figure no, out. No, it's not. It's not like he, guy's not missing. He was finding on clues on what the hell just what the hell was happening. I'll bet that means that mm. you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Edward. By the way, I realize that Tails is young, but I, with this voice actor, he always kind of sounds like a girl. Might know something about what's it, going on. Like yeah, in, he, the, in this game, in Black Knight, she does a good job of making him sound more. It's on the gag. She did a really good job. On making him sound like a guy. But, but with this particular actor, he just always sort of has a feminine part to his voice. Is it that he is almost pubescent? Yeah, in a way. <laughs> it sounds like his voice. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. It sounds like his voice is constantly cracking. <laughs> And then, and then the Roger Craig Smith voice actor, I can't remember what his name, what her name was, uh, is after puberty. <laughs> Although, Tails is like, eight. Yeah. So, he, he's an early bloomer, apparently. <laughs> he's practically pubescent. Well, actually, the typical age for boys going into puberty is like around 10 or 12. Although, girls can go into puberty as early as 8 years old, so... So maybe that's just saying something. Maybe, what about foxes? When do they mature? I don't know. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I completely forgot about this. I completely This is another Wii version, so yeah. I'm at a loss. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish this. Yeah. Before we end off the part. <laughs> I was thought we were going, oh yeah, I got it. Oh fuck! <laughs> by the way, by the way, the text goes on its own. Uh, this is technically a day stage. Yeah. Also, I love this song. I thought this one Sonic, Tornado, Battle Mode, and Game. I like how it was text bosses for a second, and then they just decided, fuck it, let's do a voice acting for those lines, and those lines only. Uh, well, now we're in a... Now we're sort of in a sky chase esque section from SA1, but instead of actually targeting things and moving around, you just have to. It's a massive quick time event. And I believe there's a. I believe there's an achievement for never missing a single. Shot? Yeah, never si missing a single shot. There we go. One small detail about this I actually like is that the shots actually match the colors of the buttons you're hitting, even between versions. So, in the Xbox version, there'll be green, yellow, blue, and red shots. Yeah. Whereas here, they're uh, blue, pink, red, and green. They even have the right. They even have the right shots coming out of the. They even have the right colors coming out of the right sort of sections of the tornado. Hmm. Like the green shots come out of the same place as the blue ones. Here. Gosh, yeah. You missed. I don't really care. We're not yeah. going for that achievement. Yeah. I think I already have it anyway. I may. I highly doubt it, but I may. Sorry if we're not talking much. There's not much to say here. Quick time event the stage. There we go. Fuck. 
But I think but I think they said it's gonna be more about the origin story and not how the guy's super glued to his chair. Yeah, I would like at least some explanation of why this guy is super glued to his chair. And then decides to come back after after the first night. Either he has a serious case of amnesia, or he really hates himself, or he's just or he, he's bind to a contract. Those are three reasons as to why the guy would ever think about coming back. I'm trying to remember how the end how the beginning to Markiplier's uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 went. If I didn't want to stay the first night, why would I stay any more than five? five. Why would I stay any more than two? Hell no. <laughs> yeah, why would you stay any more than two? Why would you stay any more than one? <laughs> well, night one's not really not that bad. Mark just kind of fucked up. Well, yeah, so did Elliot. Because he never, because he never checked the hallway for Bonnie, and that's what killed him. Uh, he did actually make it through. Yeah. All, all the way through uh, Five Nights at One. Yeah, but he didn't. Yeah, but he didn't make it like two or three. three. But he didn't make it through the sixth night. Guys, uh, Connor just put this on. Said this now. If we ever get to Five Nights games, I'm the one doing it because he's too much of a pussy to do. I don't games. like animatronics. It's a childhood fear, goddammit. Hey, I'm the one who got. Hey, I got freaked out with them too, but I still went to the Chuck E. Cheese mainly because I didn't spend too much time by the stage area. Well, I didn't either. I usually spent my time eating it in the arcade. Yeah, the animatronics. The animatronics that make, are. That doesn't make me comfortable with them, though. You know, that's that's a good April Fool's joke. I should probably just get. I, oh since, fuck since, you! Since my sister. No, no, not for you. For my sister. Oh. She has a fear of those too. And so when she's visiting, I was like, Hey, Lindsay, come over here. I want you to try and. Beat this night, and I put her in the 2020 mode oh, of Five Nights Lord. One. <laughs> you do that is evil. That is just pure evil. I'm the little brother. It's in the job description. I gotta do it. <laughs> the, hey, one other thing that I do to be the evil little brother is that whenever my sister Skype calls, I check to make sure if I, to see if I baked any biscuits and if if I baked any biscuits and if there's any left over. When she's when she's skyping mom and talking, I run up with the plastic bag, shaking in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an evil little prick when I want to be. That you are, sir. That you are. Eh, I wouldn't do that. I really I'm hope like, we get put into the hot world so that we can get I, w I wouldn't put her in 2020 mode. I'd put her in like night two. Okay, yay, we're in a hot world meeting. We can end this fucking episode. Anyway, we have been the insane duo of the next part of Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. We're gonna go through this hub world and see if we can find the professor dude that Tails was talking about. Anyway, we shall see you then.